Welcome back, guys. So today we'll be talking about our beautiful actress, Foluka Daramola, who has been currently trolled by social media users. So recently, it was said that Daramola made a viral video criticizing young Nigerians for demeaning their seniors on social media. When we have people, youths that would stay on the social media and be writing all sorts of things about the elderly. Hmm. Anu man she me. All in the bit of way I support party I support party We have lost our values. We have lost our values in the next years to come. I want more mama time won't be one ni Which prompted a response from Yeni Kuti on a live TV show where she said that she could remember back in the years when Foluke also disrespected her. So what goes around comes around. Look at Daramola. I like her, she's everything. I talk to her. But I remember when she insulted me. Because <laughs> I just Googled her now. Yeah. She's 45. Yeah. I'm 62. And we did a job. I the I much on call me to do a job girls night out that time. Hey. How many years ago? This is like maybe thirty. Oh wow. I'm sixty two now. Yes, about twenty something years. Twenty something years, longer time ago. And I, I was only doing what they asked me to do. In her quotes, Foluke had gone further to her Instagram page to make a video saying she never met Fanny Kuti in her life. She has never met her in her life. Some of my colleagues and my friends have called me and have tagged me on the interview that um, Auntie Yeni Kuti did on Your View and alleging that uh, I was rude to her years ago. <sighs> First and foremost, um, I have to come online to do this because um, she made the allegation public. Though I've spoken with her privately and we have um, spoken about it, slogged it out and I've apologized to her. But I still have to come and do this. Now, the, being rude to people that are my mates is not in my character. Talk less of people that I am, that, that are older than me. And Auntie Amy is someone that I hold in high esteem. She's an older colleague and Igimuji no sorry. But, um, and also it's been a long time so i i am almost certain it didn't happen but i'm not here to argue if it happened or not i'm just and also she had to address the issues that has been coming up about her husband and how she snatched her husband from another woman she said Busy gone, and I can't be throwing stones at every backing dog. But it's expedient I respond to this as well because Okuno Makbaromo, she can only defend her eye. You didn't shock, you didn't look, you were conscious. You went to buy one, you could see me, you only could keep cool, keep Now, I first and foremost, I am not an academic. Everybody knows that I'm an actor. So I don't have any business whatsoever in Kyle school. Two, I never knew my husband had a school when I met him. We met on the civil on the civil society grounds, change agents of Nigeria precisely. We met and we're very, very good friends. And four, I don't know Kyle's wife from Adam. We've never met, I never had any confrontation with her. I didn't have any business whatsoever with her. Whatever transpired between her and her husband, I don't have the faintest of idea. Also, what's what from what Kyle Salako told me, my husband is owned by Ulu Kyle Zike Salako. He started that school when he was in his humble beginnings. And mind you, if it is not his own by now, about 13 or 14 years ago, the true owner of the school should have collected the school from him by now. Besides the fact that I don't even know what is going on in that school. I can't remember the last time I stepped my foot in that school. In that school. And five, as I said, I am the only legal wife 
My husband is a polygamist. He has kids from other women. I can't crucify him because of that. My husband is not Dangote. He's not Femi or Tedola. We are not stupendously rich. But we are happy and content. Because what Femi or Tedola has and uh, Dangote have, my husband might not have. But what he has, I am absolutely in love with it, which is peace of mind. But look how the Ezekiel Salako gives me peace of mind. He allows me to fly. He encourages me in everything I want to do. Lately, we were separated for about a year. We didn't come on social media to start making a noise or start telling people that um, somebody snatched my husband. That's because I'm not a mediocre. I'm not stupid. I'm completing myself. If a man decides to walk out of my life, then that is his um, kettle of fish. My first marriage, my first marriage, my, when we decided to walk out, due to abuse or whatever, it wasn't, it was, it would never be a situation of me saying somebody snatched my husband. That is really, really very cheap. Because is a man a commodity that you snatch? If a man decides he wants to walk out of a relationship, you're going to, are you going to force him to stay? When, when I, I was ideologically at war with my husband, we decided that we wanted to go our separate ways. And when he saw that, ah, I can't do it without this woman, he came back and we talked about it and we decided to continue from where we stopped. That is where maturity lies. I didn't come to the social media to start saying somebody snatched anybody. So where, is, where are we getting this impression that somebody snatched it? Who would, who, can a man be snatched? I ask again. Can a man be snatched? So because my husband is a polygamist, now at the end of the day I have to say somebody, somebody snatched my husband. <laughs> it's really laughable. Please guys, let's, let's just go off from these childish talks. Kao de Salako is not somebody that anybody can snatch. One, two. The woman left Kyle de Salako, not the other way around. She decided she was stepping out of the marriage for whatever reason she had. And he decided that he has found love in me and I have found love in him, which is very allowed. We are two true content individuals that find fulfillment in one another. And we should never be just, even if you want to crucify us, you crucify yourself because we are entitled to our own emotions. I, I understand that people are not happy when you are happy. So what people try to do is sell bitterness to you. But I'm sorry, I'm not buying that. I am happily married to my husband, not somebody else's husband. I did not snatch anybody's husband. And if anybody feels that I snatched her husband, which that means he's saying that the person is a commodity. And I know for sure, for sure fact that my husband is the typical African man that can never be snatched. So please don't let it get No, her husband is a polygamist. And men are not commodities that should be snatched. He found love in me and I found love in him. And I am happily married with my husband.